Hi everyone and welcome back to Wareham Land Trust's Rainy Day Science Series here on YouTube. My name is Melissa and I am the TerraCore Youth Education Coordinator for the Wareham Land Trust. And today we're going to be making our own garden sundials. As the sun moves from east to west through the sky, from morning to night, it casts different shadows on the earth and specifically on items that are on the earth. When you build a sundial, you are giving that shadow a place to fall so that you can tell what hour of the day it is. Now, since it is summer and our days are so long, this is the perfect time to put your own sundial into your garden so that even if you don't have a watch or a clock with you, you can tell what time of day it is. So for this experiment, you are going to need a paper plate to get started, a few pencils, a Sharpie or a paint marker, and 12 rocks or seashells. So for my sundial, I have chosen this edge of my garden where I do not have many plants growing, it's mainly just dirt. And I'm going to clear a circular spot on the ground where I want my sundial to be. So now that I have cleared a circular spot, I've pulled up all of the roots and little pieces of grass that are in that spot. I'm going to put my plate down and stick a pencil through it just to get my starting point. So now I have placed my plate in the center of my cleared circle and I've stuck my pencil in at a slight angle through the plate into the ground underneath. This is because you want at 12 noon the angle and the shadow to line up perfectly. So I'm going to turn my plate so that the angle and the shadow are aligned. So the shadow is underneath the pencil. This is going to be my 12 o'clock. So now what you can do is start labeling your rocks or seashells. I'm going to start off with 12 noon. All right, so now that I have my 12 o'clock marked, I'm going to go around my circle clockwise and put in the rest of my stones. I'm starting to put my stones down in quarters, so 12, 3, 6, and 9. This is so that you can more evenly space your stones to make your sundial more accurate. I'm now going to remove the plate, stick the pencil straight into the ground, or replace it with a stick, and then fill in the rest of my stones. Now I have finished filling in my circle, and I have replaced my pencil with a straight stick that I found in my yard. This is because I don't want to leave a plastic pencil out in my garden. So now that I have this all set up, I'm going to come back on the hour for the next few hours to make sure that my sundial is properly functioning. Now on cloudy days, it may not be very obvious, but come a sunny day when you're out in your garden, you will be able to see the shadow align with each of these hours, and that will tell you what time of day it is. And that, my friends, is how to build your own garden sundial. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we hope to see you next time here on Kids Rainy Day Science. This video is brought to you by the Wareham Land Trust. Hope to see you soon.